Wule is uh, joining us now. He's in the quake zone. He's joining us by phone. And Wule, it's a new morning. It's 914 there in China. Where is your location now and how is the situation? Uh, right, Mike. I'm still on my way from Lujian County to the epicenter, the Long Tongshan Town, the worst hit area by the strong earthquake. And on our way, the road is very narrow and crowded uh, with the uh, 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 trucks uh, full carrying the relief supplies. And uh, because the road is very crowded now, we have to walk to the epicenter, and it's still about two kilometers away from the epicenter. And we are now joining the, the firefighters and other professional rescue workers to go to the epicenter. And on my way, I have seen many uh, tents and uh, broken houses, and most of the uh, survivors have been relocated to these tents. And, uh, but a, lot of, uh, a large number of the daily necessities, uh, like drinking water, food, and tents, as well as coats, blankets, and medical and medical uh, medicine and medical equipment are uh, desperately needed. And uh, now the road is still ongoing, and the supplies are on their way to the to those needy. Mike, uh, Wu Lei, uh, tell us about some of the challenges for the rescuers there. Uh, Jim kind of went over it. I mean, the weather's not great. Uh, as you're talking about, the roads kind of impassable in some cases. There's uh, tremendous difficulties, isn't there? Yes, actually, uh, the 70 hours after the strong earthquake will be the critical period for the survivors because the rescuers are trying every means they can to search for the uh, survivors and to transfer the injured to the hospitals. And yesterday, actually, it was raining constantly, but today it was good news uh, because it is now clear and we can see sunshine here. And it's really a good weather condition can, uh, can be a good condition for the rescue work. And now all these uh, firefighters and other rescue workers are rushing to the epicenter uh, with their professional searching facilities to search for the survivors and to relocate the victims. And uh, today, uh, the helicopters from the military zone will also carry uh, the critical ink to the hospitals uh, because today, uh, because of the good weather condition, and helicopters will be sending, uh, also uh, sending the necessities there to the relief works. And when they arrive in the uh, epicenter, and I will bring you the latest uh, rest work. Mike. Uh, Wu Lei joining us by phone uh, as he attempts to make it to the epicenter of that quake and as he describes some of the difficulties in doing so.